Today, I fly the new DJI Mavic 3 at some tree. Um, Touching the branch slightly. Yeah, a bit. Say hello to a Hasut friend. Uh, hello. <laughs> and, well, there's no third thing, but this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Make your own slick looking website with a 14 day free trial and 10% off your first order using this code and link below. Rolling. Guess what? We've come to a church today, but we're not praying. We're flying. That's what we've got in this back. Well, you've guessed in the title. No need to guess, in fact, it's <laughs> in the title. Let's go. So yeah, we've got the brand new DJI drone. No surprises, you know what it is. You just don't know what it looks like right now. I don't know as well. Yeah, you don't know. So that, this can be a real surprise reaction, or well, maybe not too surprised, but it's in this bag, they've provided this bag. Very so, so you'll probably get this when you get a fly more combo or something, isn't it? Yeah, I think one of those uh, packages where you get everything, that's the filters. I'll show you the boring stuff first. That's the filters. It comes in a little case. The case Ooh, is nice. It is. That's useful. H for Hasselblad. That's not very really cool. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry! Oh no! <laughs> Protective case to stop you from dropping and scratching them. ND8. Scratched ND8. That's two lenses. Yeah. Huh. These are extra propellers. Just in case we fly into a tree or something at high speed. No, that's not the new Mavic 3. Mavic that's the two. Suspenseful music now. Oh, it's a controller. Oh, it's a battery. The big battery. Oh, that's the battery. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's big, isn't it? And compared to the Mavic 2 battery. There we are. Boom. It's got some kind of, it's like a bondage suit. It's got some common It's, it's like, it's a bad guy from, from Batman. Hey, Batman. It doesn't look too different, does it? What's the difference? Very similar looking. That's the two on top, and that's the three. But the eyes are a bit different. Oh yeah, it's got more eyes. obstacle detection. There you go, it's got, got it on the top. Mavic 2, you haven't got it on top. Mavic 2 got a IR sensor on top, but yeah. now you have uh, um, eyes. Camera <laughs> yeah. for that. So it's optical rather than just a urino sensor. Mm, I'm not sure it's one of those. But anyway, let's waste no more time and prepare for the flight. One thing is, it's got a different sound. Brand new sound. Ooh. Listen to this. I think it's better, it's not too alarming. Because not everybody within a 50 meter radius needs to know you've just switched on your drone. It's very Asian airport kind yeah. of thing. Screw you. Screw you too. Where do you all, all the aerial bits are? Oh, that doesn't help. Control, you won't be able to see anything without that. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> you won't be see anything with a cracked screen. <laughs> What's wrong with you? No, I'll go on Twitter. I don't want to tweet. It's not the time or place to tweet. You know, just in case. Actually, it's a bit sandy, isn't it? Stuff it, let's do it here. Should be fine. Aircraft taking off moving surface. No, I was holding it, man. So yeah, that's the same controller as the uh, Air 2S. Air? No, Air 2? They're all the same. Oh, they They're sound quieter, don't they? Totally different sound. Yeah, what I, before it's like, Vong! It's like a robot mosquito, the old one. <laughs> What about taking off? The edges of the props are actually made of a softer material, making it a bit safer for the trees that you crash into. But as you can hear, it's quieter too. That's really quiet. I mean, it's good to have, you know, quieter props. You don't want to scare things off, right? I mean, it sounds less annoying as well. It does. Sound is just a bit bassier. Yeah, it's not as high pitch. Yeah. This is on 4K60 in a minute. She's just trying to zoom. Hey, you zoom in. Do you just pinch? Yeah. Yes, indeedy, it can zoom too. No! Oh no! What am I doing? We don't want that. There we are. Four times. Seven times. And then, oh, okay. Okay, I guess some of that is, is digital, right? It's like those Hollywood films. Hi. It's like those Hollywood films where they're, they're using a satellite looking. to zoom in on somebody. Boom. Oh. Fire! Oh. Even more, oh wow, look at that! that's quite a lot of 
thumb. You can see all my Paw Patrol and Spider-Man stickers wow. on my... Obviously, for sheer image quality, it's much better when you're not zooming in all the way, although it looks good enough up to 7x zoom. It's just that for the best quality, you can't beat the main camera. So yeah. A big part of that is the bigger four-third sensor that it's packing. The extra resolution larger sensor provides some eye-pleasingly nice sharp video. The view feels quite a bit wider too. So zoom, you've, you can only go up to 4K. Well, one thing this has got also is 5.1K. There we go, 5K, 25. Oh, hang on, you got 5K up to 50 FPS. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's just for cropping, isn't it? And that added extra bit of crispness. Uh, that's what it looks like. It looks mighty fine, as you might expect from that big fat sensor flying in the sky. <laughs> see, can you see the, see the text? <laughs> yeah, can you read that? Check that out. The 5.1K allows you to punch in a little with your publishing in 4K or quite a bit more for 1080p. It's not all about resolution and Ks though, colour is just as important. And they've, it's still got this collaboration with Hasselblad. It does sort of mean that it's got a, a special colour profile. Hasselblad, special magic. I think the colours look great. This is just a regular picture profile, not log. And those greens look nice and everything looks natural. I think it was some of the older DJIs, I, I didn't quite like the greens, the green colours. And especially as you'll be using it mainly for <laughs> landscapey things, you're not going to be using it for city. Oh yeah, shouldn't be. It's a little bit naughty. So, I mean, uh, what does the skin colours look like? That's what it looks like. I'm going to come at your face. Safely. Just from there. <laughs> look at what the skin colours look like. I mean, is there a difference between the two lenses? That's the, the main one. I mean, the main one should look really nice. This is the zoom lens. Oh, that looks very similar, actually. So I was thinking that maybe when you change lens, there might be a, a, an obvious difference. Obviously, there'll be a difference in quality. Okay, so you can't switch between the two different lenses while you're recording. You have to switch, uh, you have to stop recording. The battery is so good. It is, and it's yeah. only on 53 now. Because it used to, the Spark. And then even, <laughs> yeah. even, the, even other like uh, Mavic Air, it's definitely the battery will be flat already on a Mavic Air or something. But how does it compare to the Mavic 2? Let's find out. Battery life is better on the Mavic 3, but how do they compare in terms of performance? It's certainly easier to take filters off on new ones. This one comes off a bit easier than the Mavic 2. Snap. We've got both the Mavic 2 and the 3, so we might as well compare how they look like. Let's find out. The Mavic 3's main camera can take video with up to 12.8 stops of dynamic range. The log footage is noticeably flatter with the 3 also. The 24mm makes it hard to put them side by side and get exactly the same framing, but it's clear that the Mavic 3 has the sharper, more detailed image. But on to more important questions. Which one is faster in a drag race? Okay, ready? Yep. 3, Three two, two, 1, go! go. Oh, yours much mine, faster! Mine's much faster. <laughs> It won. Much faster. Yeah, a lot in, faster. At that, that was... short distance. Although it doesn't appear to be a drastic change in shape, Mavic 3 apparently has 35% less wind drag than Mavic 2, which probably helps it accelerate a lot faster. So they changed the name for it. I think they called it OcuSync before or some, something. It's now uh, O3 Plus or something. Maybe it's different things. It's to do with the transmission. It, it goes further. Just better. Yeah, just better. Of course, we are talking about the live feed here. Of course, it's not related to the actual video you're shooting. Yeah. Of course, you're shooting 25 frames per second. But the live feed, it actually smoothed. Super smooth. Than the video it takes. It's got obstacle detection every, every direction now. And up to 200 meters, which is quite a lot. They always improve the safety. It's got APS 5.0. It's trying to go a different direction. I'm just pressing forwards. That's pretty smart. I'll it's give it that. It's fun its own way. Yeah. 
Thanks to all those sensors, there's protection in every direction, basically. And when you ask it to bypass objects, it does quite an amazing job yeah. of it. Okay, I'm just going to go straight at it. Whoa! It goes up. So all you do is oh. just forward. Yeah, I'm just going forwards. That's pretty smart. Because before that, uh, DJI got obstacle avoiding from P, uh, P4, I think, Phantom 4, that it will stop at an obstacle. But Apex is like it will yeah. go past it. It will find Some... its own way. That's way good, I tell you. And just so you know, this is what the Mavic 2 is like. Enable. Okay, now I go forward on the stake. So it go up. Wow, no, it's... <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just... Danger, danger. It don't stop. I'm really careful. I can't trust it. So no lending it money or letting it look after your kids then? Oh. Oh, back is it does it stop. stop. Okay. Okay. The start is good. I mean, that's the funny thing, isn't it? The the beginner drones, the the entry level ones, they don't have any sensors. That hardly any sensors. No sensors. You crash it, you crash it. Yeah. This one has got loads. <laughs> you can't crash it, which is just as well because these cost quite a bit of money, don't they? You don't want to crash it. But if you going to get this drone, you probably shouldn't. No. Rely on it solely. No. Because sometimes it can't, maybe it can't detect some kind of like uh, electric wire that's too small for it to detect. But I think it's especially good for when it's tracking, when it's tracking when you're walking, something like that. Yeah. That you are not on the controller. Or when it's do that kind of like quick shot. Yeah. You're talking yes. about, hello. <laughs> At the time of filming, the Active Track 5.0 and Quick Shot bits weren't available, but along with the 4K 120 and 1080 200 FPS, it will be available on the day of launch. There's a Maverick 3 Cine that offers 10 bit D Log Apple ProRes 422 HQ videos with a max bit rate of 3772 Mbps and 1 terabyte of built in SSD. The downside it's going to cost a hell of a lot more. I haven't had the opportunity to test one of those, but despite the pre-launch firmware not having all of the features to test out, the non-cine version is already mightily impressive, not just with what they've put into it, zoom and a bigger sensor main camera, but for the really top quality video you get from it and increased safety. As it turned out, those extra props were not needed. I could quite easily fly through a load of trees and not have to pray that it would come out unscathed. Touching the branch slightly. Yeah, a bit. You know, some of you are taking their dogs out for a walk. We're taking a drone out for a walk. <laughs> that was fun. Walk the drone. <laughs> it's a new thing. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service. You can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. Well, yeah, that's a nice church. I've never been here before. It's got a nice bit of sand here if you want to make a sand castle. Oh no, I thought there's a bench here. On Google Maps, I saw a bench. <laughs> it's right here. They've taken away. Google has taken it away. <laughs> no, Google added stuff. So I should pray for a bench to appear. Oh, it's over there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Google Maps. It's always confusing when you, when you kind of extend the parts. Because this one... No, hang on. It's the, <laughs> side, the sideways one first. Yeah. And the flip down one. For this one, for the Mavic 2. Oh, it's the same. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll cut that bit out. <laughs> That's cool. More ex exaggerated face. That's amazing! 